New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has been facing a whole lot of criticism, first for her broad executive order on all guns that temporarily banned carrying firearms in Albuquerque and its surrounding county. A federal judge temporarily blocked her initial order, uh, which faced at least four lawsuits. Uh, Grisham is now narrowing the ban to only restrict carrying guns at the city's public parks and playgrounds. The governor says she issued the emergency order since the recent shooting of deaths of uh, three children. Uh, but lawmakers on both sides of the aisle called this unreasonable. Let's bring in Niall Stanage, White House columnist for The Hill. Niall, good to see you. Happy Monday. Uh, the governor, I would think, sounds like a lot of moms and dads, you know, wanting to do something fed up with the violence. Obviously, as of late, we've seen mass shootings. We've seen the deaths of children. She called it a public health emergency. But wouldn't she have anticipated that this could be a violation of the Constitution? She would, and I think she did, actually, Adrian. But, I mean, I think that you have laid it out very well there. There is obviously a massive, massive problem with gun violence in this country. About 45,000 gun deaths per year just at the weekend. The United States passed 500 mass shootings for this year. That defined as four or more people injured or shot dead. Now, the question is, how does this proposed solution match up? And this judge who was uh, nominated by President Biden has held that the law appears to be unconstitutional because of its breadth. And we'll have to see now whether this narrower version passes muster or not. Well, and, and I think it wasn't just the judge uh, that took issue with this, uh, but also the DA, also mm -hmm. uh, another Democrat, saying there's no way to back this up here. Isn't there a danger in, in this potentially looking like a political stunt rather than a solution? Yes, there is, because it seems on its face so obviously unconstitutional that it begs the question, what exactly are we trying to do here? Is this really a good faith effort to reduce gun violence? Or is this an attempt to sort of generate a rather sloganeering idea that ultimately has no chance of success? You mentioned the attorney general, a Democrat, said that he wouldn't defend this in court. There have been a number of other people, either gun control advocates or Democrats, who have also been critical of this measure because they say, yes, they want tighter controls. Yes, there's a terrible problem with gun violence, but that does not justify things that seem to quite blatantly run afoul of the United States Constitution. Well, you have on the one end of the spectrum, someone like Grisham, uh, Lujan Grisham, and then you have on the other end of the spectrum, the NRA. And then you have all the Americans in the middle, whether Democrat or Republican, who don't wanna have to use a gun to defend themselves but frankly, don't feel like there's any other way, especially when you look at the violence and crime rising in cities, whether they're Democrat-led or Republican-led. It's like, what do you expect us to do? Police departments are short-staffed. What do you believe the party line will be for Democrats uh, approaching 2024? To my mind, Democrats are still a bit reluctant to talk about the gun issue. Now, they would say that the influence of the gun lobby has waned somewhat. Obviously, the NRA has quite a few internal ructions in the past few years. And likewise, gun control groups, Moms Demand Action and Every Town for Gun Safety have made some advances. But it is still a very tricky issue. Uh, there is a middle ground, Adrian, on things like universal background checks. If you pull that, you get 75, 80 percent of Americans agreeing that that should happen. That clearly includes a large number of Republicans and Democrats, a large number of conservatives as well as liberals. But this measure by the governor of New Mexico is way beyond that, not seeking a legislative fix on the common ground, but seeking by executive order to prohibit something that appears to be expressly protected by the Constitution. Yeah, some things are cut and dry, really. Niall Stanage, good to see you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.